why does someone have to believe in Jesus to be saved from sin or to come into right relationship with God? After all, there are other religions where people are really seeking to live good lives. A traditional Jew is seeking to live a godly life and please God and live according to the Bible. A traditional Muslim, I'm not talking about some terrorists, but a traditional Muslim is trying to please God, whom they call Allah, and live a moral life. Different religions have different ethics and teach principles of love your neighbor as yourself that's not only found in Christian teaching. Why must we go through Jesus? Is it just saying the right words? Is it some religious formula? How could that be right? How could that be fair that you have sincere people in different religions and different faiths, and if they don't get the formula right, they die and they're lost? It's a very fair question. Let's look at it from this angle first. If there was another way for us to be saved, if we could become righteous by observing commandments, if our repentance alone was sufficient, if we didn't need blood atonement, if we didn't need a substitute, a sacrifice, someone to take our place, then Jesus would not have died. The Gospels make clear that there was no other way that he had to die for our sins. So either his death is important or his death was irrelevant. Either his death is essential or his death did not have to happen. As we understand it, His death had to happen because none of us could save ourselves. None of us, by doing good, can improve ourselves enough. None of us, by doing good, can outweigh the bad that's in us. None of us, by doing good, can satisfy the death penalty for sin. You say, but it's not fair. Why do you all have to come through Jesus? Turn it around and look at it the other way. God's telling the whole world, as much as you're trying trying your hardest, trying your best, it's not good enough. And if I judge you righteously, you'll all be condemned. But because I love you so much and don't want you to suffer and don't want you to die, but I can't just look the other way uh, with your sin that's not righteous, I'm going to send my son to take your place. He's going to die for all the horrific things you did. He's going to grant you repentance and a new life. And with him, you can be changed. Without him, you're lost. But God's not just saying, to hell with all of you. No, God's saying, I'm making a way for all of you to come into right relationship with me. And God's saying, I'm doing this at the expense of the life of my son. And it's for everybody, rich, poor, young, old, educated, uneducated, every religion, every background, the door is open. How can we speak evil of God when he is sacrificially saying the door is open for all?